you want the best free antivirus for Windows 10, huh? Well, strap on in. It's Mike from CyberNews.com, and I'm here to bring you one thorough review of the best antivirus software for Windows 10 that's currently available. I'm going to present the pros, the cons, and I'll explain what makes each the best free antivirus for Windows 10. But if you're new, don't be shy. Slam those like and subscribe buttons for future reviews on more free goodies. Now, before you ask, yes, it's safe to use a free antivirus if you only care about basic protection. Most free antiviruses hide important features like firewalls and real-time protection behind paywalls. So, let's see what level of protection you can expect from our better options here. Okay, let's start with Total AV Free. This is a good free antivirus for Windows 10, and it's my favorite. It has all the essentials for decent security right from the get-go. Total AV has a comprehensive smart scan that doesn't just check for malware, but also evaluates your startup programs, detects junk, and duplicate files. It even evaluates your browser safety. And the safe side extension, available for Chrome, Fox, and Edge browsers, acts as a little extra layer of protection against online threats. I found it to be a reasonable replacement for real-time protection, which is only available in the paid version of Total AV. However, we're still missing a firewall. It'd be great to have that in a free version, wouldn't it? Now, where Total AV doesn't disappoint at all is in its performance. According to AV Comparative's performance test, Total AV gets a perfect score in that category, and well, you can see why. Total AV uses less than 5% of my disk and less than 40% RAM with the quick scan and only 50% of the disk running deep scans. Sure, my CPU is fully loaded during the scan, but it takes no more than half an hour, which is really fast. It's certainly one of the best antivirus programs for Windows 10 when it comes to performance. When it comes to usability, super easy to install and run. It's definitely one of the more comfortable programs I've used. While it does take some time for the Windows 10 app to load for the first time, afterward I was surprised with how fast it functions. Total AV starts a scan right after installation, which is thoughtful and caring. The app itself was comfortable to use, color scheme is easy on the eyes, and every important feature is right where you'd expect it to be. I love it. I had no issues with Total AV during testing, but I've tried contacting their customer support anyway. While there is a huge database of articles about Total AV, you can still send a direct support inquiry via email. For billing questions, support can also be called. Yeah, like on a phone. Seriously, a phone? And even more incredible is that you don't have to log in to even ask a question. The website will detect your account through the antivirus app, so you don't have to take any of those extra annoying steps. While there's no limit to how long you can use Total AV, it is fair to say that it will constantly remind you to get a paid version. And honestly, the real-time protection alone makes that totally worth it. Now, if you decide to switch to a paid plan, we have discounts for some of the best antiviruses. Just click the link in the description to check them out. They really are exclusive, by the way. So during my testing, I found some other extremely useful features. First of all, Total AV detects and helps delete tracking cookies. It's also capable of detecting websites with malware, which I took advantage of a couple of times. And of course, I used a bit of their password vault because why not? Okay, next up is Avira, another decent antivirus if you're looking for a free one. Unlike Total AV, Avira Free Antivirus has real-time protection as part of its free package. It'll detect threats in your system, actively protect against ransomware, and scout your web activities for signs of malicious activity. However, that last part is provided separately through the browser safety add-on. Another add-on called Safe Shopping will also check your payment pages and ensure your banking info isn't leaked. In terms of performance, Avira is actually quite good. It doesn't use that many resources for scans and it uses less CPU than Total AV, but it does use more of your disk, for quick scans anyway. Avira's full scan is surprisingly even less demanding and it takes about the same time as Total AV's. It did take me some time to install and run the first scan with Avira, but wasn't too disappointed with the results. Avira detected the same issues with my PC as Total AV did. As for the app itself, it has a more bulky appearance than Total AV's, but it actually has less in it. The black and blue color palette is fine and the features are outlined neatly, so no complaints there. 
The only upsides in comparison to Total AV is that Avira didn't remind me to get a paid version after every scan and used up less resources during scans. So that's nice. As for the customer support, well, there's a lot of variety here. I'm pleasantly surprised that besides the usual email support and self-help articles, Avira Antivirus has a functioning community page. Anybody can post a question and have it answered by both the community members and the support staff. I miss that kind of communication between users for ages and it's, well, it's nice to see people supporting each other for once. And by the way, there doesn't seem to be a limit to the free version's duration. But unfortunately, most of the advanced tools of Avira are unusable in the free version, including the firewall and the performance optimization features called Avira Speed Up. Now, if you'd like to have these features, then <clears throat> go find that discount code in the description below so you can get Avira Pro for less. But even without it, you're still getting one of the best antiviruses for PC. As for the additional benefits in Avira Antivirus, well, it has a VPN and password manager, which you can use. The VPN is very limited though, and I didn't expect much in the first place since VPNs built into antiviruses are often lackluster anyway. There's also a file shredder, which is always a fun way to delete your files if you plan to sell or loan out your device. Okay, now we have Kaspersky Cloud Free Antivirus. Kaspersky Security Cloud is one of the antiviruses I trust the most on Windows. Kaspersky uses real-time protection to detect malware, both during the scans and when you're browsing online. However, a firewall is not included in the free package. That said, Kaspersky offers a system watcher feature that utilizes machine learning to identify threats that are yet to be recorded. Another feature, Network Attack Blocker, which prevents suspicious connections on LAN. Kaspersky scans and overall activity do not affect your PC performance too much, and I didn't experience any significant lag with it, even when I also use Google Chrome. Now by far, Kaspersky uses the least amount of RAM for scans, but in comparison to Total AV and Avira, the difference in system load during scans is not that significant. A long download and installation process are the main problems with Kaspersky. Because I had other antiviruses installed previously, it was very annoying to get Kaspersky warning messages about the other programs, which were even previously deleted. So if you've had antivirus software in your system before, get ready to ignore those Kaspersky pesky warnings. Hopefully they can fix that in an update. Hopefully. Oh, and you're also absolutely required to enter your email and create a Kaspersky account, which wasn't the case with the other two. Another quick note, look for Kaspersky Security Cloud and avoid the other free apps available on Kaspersky's website. It's not as obvious as you'd think, so keep your eyes peeled. Now, customer support provided by Kaspersky Free Antivirus is top notch. Besides the usual email connections and self-help sections, you can also connect to a virtual assistant and explain your issue that way. I mean, what beats getting help from an actual real person, right? Well, I'm glad to say that there is a 24 seven live chat with an expert available if you have any issues. You can do that on their website or if you want to save some money, check in the discount link in the description below. Kaspersky Security Cloud also includes a free VPN and password manager. And while I tested them a bit, I found Kaspersky VPN only has a 200 megabyte of bandwidth limit. So you're unlikely to use it for anything other than maybe work or light browsing. In my personal tests, I not only use each antivirus to make observations, but I also refer to the independent reviews of the anti-malware labs such as AV tests and AV comparatives. If you wanna know more about the security of the different apps, then check those out when you get a chance. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for even more cybersecurity content. We post every week and it'd be great if you can help us continue by supporting our channel. We appreciate it. In the end, free antiviruses with good functionality do exist, with Total AV being almost the best free antivirus option. Kaspersky and Avira are also prime examples of a high performance zero cost service. However, you won't be getting the full protection with just the free versions of an antivirus package. I recommend you try those antiviruses for free. If they end up helping you, well, then consider investing in the paid version and keep yourself completely safe. Okay, have you tried any free antivirus providers before? Have I missed your go-to program from our list? Well, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video.